Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you guys a day in the life as a hobby horse barn owner. So this morning I usually wake up at 6:30 a.m. get ready, and um, around seven I usually walk to the stables. All right, I have finally arrived where I see my three babies, Willow, Bolt, and Chestnut. Willow is looking a bit filthy, as you can see. So what I usually do is I'm gonna bring her over to the cross ties and I'll go ahead and get her groomed. So this is the halter that my horses have. So these are rope halters. I'll link the tutorial that I used to make this down below in the comment, in the description. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab her. Let's go bring her over to the cross ties. All right, so these are the cross ties. They're not really cross ties, but they're just what I use because it's just more practical for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and burn her. Alright, now that she is all groomed, I'm going to go ahead and grab her bridle and I'm going to tack her up and then we'll get started on, in our day. So I'm going to go grab the bridle and while you guys might come at me, do not worry. The horses have been fed before I arrived at the barn and um, I do not starve them, okay? Now let's go ahead and put her bridle on. So this is her bridle, these are her reins, and she has a little chin throat lash like a normal bridle does, except that it's with a clip. So we're going to start off by putting the reins over her neck, then and going ahead on her sides and putting her bit in. Her bit is the red part, by the way. She has a colorful bit. She is not used by children, but we just use those because those are the rubber bits and they're usually less hard on the horse's mouth. So that's why we use those, if you were wondering. Good girl. And now the throat lash. And after that, I will clear up the space, put a few poles, and we might even go over a few jumps later on. There we go. All right, let's clean up the arena. All right, so the arena is now ready. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. There's gonna be a few poles. And then over here we have this jump is the same size as the pole, so it's not a jump. It's just a really little like step over. And we might put that higher later on. So let's hop on and I'll show you my training. So I'm gonna do first person view. All right, now that we are done with warm-ups, I'm going to go ahead and put the jump up a bit. So, we're gonna start off with the jump at 15 to 20 centimeters. Let me go ahead and put that up. All right, there it is. Let's go ahead and go over this. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and put the jump up higher. 
Um, putting up it up to 30 centimeters. Alright guys, I'm now done with Willow. I'm going to untack and put her in a pasture. Alright, let's go bring her to our pasture. She is going into the pasture with Bount Bunty. Alright, here's the pasture. I'm gonna let her free over here. She'll keep her halter on. I'm just gonna clips her leader up off. Alright, bye girls, have fun. It's Boonty's day off, if you haven't noticed. All right, now we're gonna go, oh, we're gonna go back to the stables, and now we are going to get Chestnut. Chestnut is my miniature pony. Um, she doesn't use bridles. She just uses neck ropes and marlin gears. This is what she uses, so I'll show you how I put this on. First, first, okay, so first you have to put on this part where you just open the bottom. And that goes here, around her. But put it this way. This. And after that, there's normally a second strap down there, but it disappeared. So next, we bring this. Reminder, I'm going to lunge her. I cannot ride her. She is way too small. She's a miniature pony, so don't want to hurt her. Next, you just take that and you clip it on her back. And what I like to do sometimes is also put this around her neck. No, it doesn't hurt her, guys. Please don't think I'm abusing my poor horses and ponies. All right, there we go. Now let's go lunge her. All right, now that we have finished lunging her, I'm gonna do the same thing as Willow. Um, I'm gonna untack her inside of the pasture and I'll leave those three girls to do their thing. Let's go ahead and bring her. All right, bring her over to the pasture. Here with the girls. Hey there, baby. Are you having a nice nap? Yeah. <laughs> Here's Willow. And now here's Tesla. Let's go ahead and untack her. All right, let's go ahead and untack her. So, we're gonna start off by removing this part. Good girl. And now just for more than you go. Okay, off you go. All right, the girls are now in the pasture. Let's go back. So I brought Bounty back to her stall. So now she's in her stall. And now it's time for Bolt. Here's Bolt. Hi, buddy. Same thing as Willow. He shares the same tack as Willow. Not the same bit. Same. It is the exact same bit, but it's, they don't use the same one. I don't know how to explain. Same brand and all that, but they don't use the same. What do we do first? We pop the ring over. Yes, don't worry, I have actually changed the bit. The problem with him is that he's a little chunkier than Willow, so it's a bit harder sometimes, but it's okay. Right, the bridle and reins are now on. Let's get riding. 
Um, for him, I also need to use a riding whip. This is my bedazzled riding whip. I do not know where this is from. I got it for my birthday, but let's get ready. Um, before I get on, I just want to say, um, I'm do um, he has already been warmed up, but we're going to go over quite big jumps. So enjoy. Let me get on and give you a little course walk. So there's one jump over there, one jump here, and one jump there. I'm going to film me riding now. Warning, we might fail multiple times. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.